what's good y'all it's your boy ross back in again with another video so i want to give my final thoughts and opinions on the call of duty cold war beta it just ended i want to say yesterday so um at the time of me recording this it ended yesterday so my final thoughts and opinions on this beta is kind of meh it's it's just it's meh for me not because it's it's not a, a decent game just from the stuff that 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 we were able to play it's just it's not something that is like oh it's a must play you know like I, I had a few hours with the game a couple of sessions i was able to play and it wasn't like i needed to play another game or i wanted to stay on there as long as possible it was just meh there were some good things about the game there's some average things about the game and then there's some things i'm just not a big fan of um i guess we can start with the positives um it's kind of some of the stuff i said in my first thoughts like my first opinions of the game but some of the positives i like the settings i love the fact that you can change the field of view on consoles just like you can on playstation well just like you can on pc so you can see more of the screen you know so it's it, you can see a lot more on your screen than you normally could um in previous uh call of duty games um i like the fact that i had i hadn't really ran into that much of camping when it came to playing against other players like yeah there was a lot of jump shotting and you know there was definitely some sweat in the lobbies but i didn't really run into a lot of camping like i do in modern warfare so that's another positive i think the flow of the game is is pretty consistent um what else can i say that was uh more on the positive side some of the things that they took out of modern warfare they brought back in this game like map voting um the uav well not the uav but the, the mini map working like it should a uh, ghost working like it should where you have to at least be moving for it to work if you start camping you'll start showing up on the radar things that were pretty much like a staple in call of duty they brought it back so like i said that's not something i could put in the positive i guess that would be something i put in in just like a, a middle tier like it's, it's this supposed to be in call of duty so the fact that it's brought back it's it's still kind of sad that it was even taken out in the first place but um honestly that's I, I do like some of the perks i do um some of the guns that i was able to play with they they this is what you expect more or less from how it was in modern warfare the extensiveness um i'm like i like the fact that they did bring up back the the uh the wild card system so i did enjoy that um but outside of that honestly i mean that's that's pretty much it for the positives this is like i said it's it's not i can't even describe it it's it's not one of those things where it's like oh you just got to go back and play over and over and over again immediately it's just it's serviceable some of the positives are cool but outside of that that's pretty much it um the negatives though i will say for me i don't know if anyone else has experienced this but i can't see enemies sometimes like i don't know if i'm getting older with age and going blind but i really can't see the enemies that i would think i would be able to see and that's probably the biggest gripe i think because the enemies blend in so well because the color palette is so kind of it's kind of it's it's muted in a sense it's not colorful like it's i can't even describe it it's like the enemies for me what i've experienced i just can't see them they could be right in front of me can't see them i end up getting killed by them um what else could i say negative wise um the maps i think are they could be better i think there's maybe two maps out of the maps that were available that i actually somewhat enjoy um I, i'm not I, I guess you could put that in a negative considering that maps are a big important part of call of duty i just didn't really too much care for them like they were just okay at best two of them i i enjoyed the desert map and uh, i'm not sure I, I forgot the name of the map it's it's a map where there's like a, a field in the middle and there's like a uh, like a little 
like a, a hangar that's in the middle of the map as well it, it's it's cool i like that map and the desert map outside of that all the other ones don't care for miami is complete utter garbage um and i have to put that in the negatives because if this is more or less what the game is going to be bringing when it comes to map content and only a few maps are going to be enjoyable and then the rest is just going to be something that you don't want to play that means the majority of the time people are going to only be playing like three to four maps if it shows up in the voting rotation because nobody else is going to want to play anything which makes the game repetitive which makes the game quicker to get boring you know what i'm saying so definitely i hope there's better variety of maps and in the full release of the game um outside of that the only other negative that i can think of and i'm, I'm not going to go with the traditional skill-based matchmaking because that's just part of call of duty now there's nothing we can do about that um other than that other than it just being kind of bland the score streaks are not really that exciting to me you would think they are but they're not in my opinion, they're just kind of run of the mill. I thought there would be more. Uh, that's the one thing I can say about Modern Warfare. They give you a lot of kill streaks or score streaks if you have set it up like that. In Modern Warfare, there's a lot of streaks for you to get. In this game, it's, it's a hand few that are just actually worthy of using. Maybe a couple. Maybe the higher end ones, like maybe three or four of them are worth using the rest of them are just kind of running the mill general like just score streaks we've seen in the past so definitely kind of lackluster on that part and if i had to really be nitpicky i will say the graphics don't hold up like they should for this to be the next call of duty game and for this to be the game that will probably be launching on the uh, next gen consoles, it may look better on the next gen console, but it would be a good sign if it looked just as good or maybe slightly better than Modern Warfare on current gen consoles only because then it would kind of give us an indication that next gen is going to look even better. Because Modern Warfare, in my opinion, is the best looking Call of Duty game in the Call of Duty franchise. And right now, Black Ops Cold War is a step down. It is in the visual, the audio department as well. Because at least, at least with Call of Duty um, Modern Warfare, the guns, they sound realistic because they actually went to gun ranges to actually... The, whatever gun it's modeled after they actually shot the gun recorded the audio like you can if you paid attention in modern warfare you can actually hear when the bullets leave leave the uh, leave like expel from the gun itself you can hear it hit the ground you see the smoke animation from from the barrels like it is they went in depth on the gun animations they went in depth on just the overall aesthetics of the game i don't think anyone complain can't complain that modern warfare doesn't look and sound amazing even though there is some problems with the audio pertaining to footsteps it's still one of the best looking sounding call of duty games and of course warzone is probably one of the best battle royals out there and you can tell they put some time into the graphics and how it looks this one it's a step down man the graphics look they don't look bad but they you would expect them to look a little bit better than they do the gun sounds they don't really hit like they should it's it's a step down in my opinion and i think i think that's one of the things that it kind of it kind of brought down my overall experience of the beta just because it was like i'm playing a game that's already kind of mad to me and the visuals on it alone still isn't impressing me so it's like it's kind of mad for me but hopefully that changes by the time the game actually drops even though there's not probably not much they could possibly do I, I we'll see but honestly i already purchased the game so i'm gonna be playing it i'm gonna be checking it out but um the only reason why I can see myself playing this game more than Modern Warfare because I've just gotten burnt out on Modern Warfare. I hadn't really played Modern Warfare in almost like about two, it's been about two to three weeks only because I've just been burnt out on it. 
I've been burnt out on the sweaty lobbies and it's just I don't know I've been burnt out on it I don't even know if I'm gonna be playing the modern warfare anytime soon i'm not sure we'll see depending on how i feel but i've just been burnt out on it so i think that's the only advantage that is giving cold war for me some tour some type of of excitement is because i want to at least see how this game plays out through the life cycle of it so we'll see but right now as my final opinions and thoughts on the whole beta as a whole it's just it's okay it's meh it could be much better it could be a lot worse um i think over time once it comes out the full game i think i may i could see myself possibly enjoying it a little bit better than modern warfare but we will see in due time we'll see what changes they make to the to the game once it drops but comment down below let me know what's your opinion on the game are y'all rocking with it uh, well, are y'all rocking with the beta? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys plan on buying the full game? Or did you guys plan what you saw in this beta was pretty much the deciding factor to be like, you know what? I think I'm going to pass up on this because uh, I'm just not feeling it. And I'll probably be playing Modern Warfare for another year. Let me know. I would love your guys' opinion. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 30K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.